Hello there everybody, my name is Coaster Shy YouTube channel, Doncaster Born, but built for theme park news and welcome to a little update from Tornado Springs at Poulton's Park. Now, we expect this to happen with other brand new attractions for the 2020 season, however Tornado Springs have officially come out and delayed the opening of the brand new area. Now before we get started, please make sure you like the video if you've loved it, comment down below your thoughts and subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. Please share with your friends, your families and on social media. Let's get this content out there in the public eye. Let's get people entertained with the theme park news over this lockdown period and make sure you also uh, get your questions in for the Q&A when we celebrate 2,000 subscribers. Use the hashtag question before or after your question. Now, this video is going to be all about an official statement released by Poulton's Park about the opening of Tornado Springs being delayed. And also we're going to be taking a look at some factors as to why a specific date has been pushed back to that date. Why it's been that date that's been pushed back. So, let's have a look at the official statement which I'm going to put on your screen right now. Fan Dabby Dozy and Poulton's Park have officially stated on behalf of Tornado Springs... Unfortunately, the ongoing situation with COVID-19 has meant we've had to take the very difficult decision to delay the opening of Tornado Springs until Easter 2021. We know this is very disappointing news for you all, as it is for us, but with no work taking place on the site currently and no known date as to when work will we be able to resume, we felt this was our only option. After 18 months of hard work, it's very difficult to accept that the attraction will not open this year, but we promise you it will be worth the wait. It will, don't worry. I personally think it's worth the wait, and I know a lot of people think so as well. As soon as we have news of the main part reopening, we'll post it here on our social channels. We hope you understand our decision, and we'll look forward to welcoming you all back soon. So, I think that that was a fantastic... It was difficult to put that statement on, but it was such a fantastically written statement by Poulton's Park... I think it was the right decision in my opinion. Yes, the season could have come back in September. Yes, we would have been, even though there were measures in place, we could have been alright by September. I think this is the most difficult decision to take, but I think they've taken the right decision. And I think it's the right decision because you've got to think, this area is still a couple of months off of completion and you've still got to test the coaster as well so many of the work will be done by European contractors and people from abroad so obviously with international travel banned till September at the very least you can't really complete the area until the last couple of months of this year now you've got to think September is usually when the main season finishes and Halloween gets into effect uh, now, don't and don't get me wrong, the first couple of weeks of the season was alright, and then we sort of closed the parks, locked down, that kind of thing. And it's been locked down ever since, and I think it's going to be locked down until at least July, August, in my opinion. Uh, so you've got to think, air is still a couple of months of completion, you need map rides on site to see the new coaster being tested, you need other manufacturers, so Cyclonator, for example... Maybe you'll need the manufacturer from there to see it testing, which of course is Zamperla. The windmill towers, you'll need the manufacturer of that to be on site to see them testing. You'll need testers, like playground equipment testers, because there are, there is an official job where you can test playground equipment. So you've got the new Junkyard Junction, you've got the other playground as well. So you've got to have uh, these playground equipment testers on site as well. So other people from abroad and from Europe you know, they're going to have to come in and test these things and see the whole area and finish off the area because it's still a couple months off completion with paint jobs, extra theming items that are going to have to be travelled from abroad. So you've got all these things to take into account and by the time that's all done, it'll be Halloween going into Christmas and usually most of the rides aren't operating then. And of course the park usually reopens in the spring of, 20, in the spring of next year. The park's usually reopened in the spring, around March, April time. So... I think that this is a realistic decision and it's a decision we kind of saw coming with the situation going as it is. Uh, so again, I'm going, to I'm going to recap all of that for those of you who didn't get that. So all these people from abroad that test it, that theme it up, that paint up the area, the area is still a couple of months off completion. You finish up the area, it'll be around about September by the time you've finished it all and you've got it ready to open. By then the main season will have finished and Halloween will be kicking in soon. And most of the attractions aren't usually open during Christmas either. So, 
Um, with international travel banned from September, at least, at least in my opinion, September, um, you know, you're going to have a really difficult job to get this open ready for the end of the year. And again, Christmas, not really many of the attractions are open because of the whole winter wonderland thing. It's usually just like the kids' rides um, and the family rides and, of course, like the 4D cinema brought in with the Christmas film. So, you know, it's mainly, it's it's not any of the big rides. So stuff like Storm Chase and everything like that wouldn't be ready. So I think it was the right decision to delay it till Easter 2021 when the park reopens again for the next season. Now, of course, here on Coast Child YouTube channel, we were invited to the VIP media launch for Tenerife Springs, which would be in May. Um, it would be a, it would I think it was planned. Well, if anything went according to plan, it would have been a week or so before I went over to Prague to get some footage for you guys. But obviously, that trip's been cancelled now as well. So. Um, obviously Prague will probably get delayed until next year, if not, it may not happen at all, which is a shame, but, you know, I've done my passport stuff now, so I can go abroad, you know, in the next few years, hopefully, fingers crossed, um, and do some European parks for you guys, Pop Slander Pan's new coaster next year in 2021, uh, if it's still scheduled to open then, the mega coaster at Wallaby, Belgium, you know, that's been a one on my radar for a while now, so, you know, there's still a lot of projects to open in the next few years when we start getting back to normal uh, that we can look forward to here so you know international travel is not completely out of the question here on this channel it's still up in the air uh, now of course Tornado Springs delayed till East 2021 now of course that my friends could be a potential trip now obviously I'm sure with VIP um, if we do start getting back to normal, maybe they'll do some pre. Maybe if it's safe to operate the new rides, maybe they will invite VIP and media to do previews uh, towards the end of this year, um, around the Christmas period, maybe. So um, it'd be interesting to see if they do that. I th I'm, I'm definitely thinking they won't. I think it'll be. A, I think again, like they were planning to do uh, with the public launch for Tornado Springs. I think it'll just be. Um, maybe like a day in advance, maybe for VIP, uh, like the day before the public launch, maybe. So, um, I don't know. Uh, it, 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 just, it just depends, really. Uh, it depends what they do with this. It depends how uh, they're going to sort it and schedule it next year. So, it should be very interesting to keep, you know, eyes on that. Uh, and I'm sure that uh, whenever we're down there, we'll get the footage for you guys next year um, for Tornado Springs. So, I'll be very excited to do that next year. But, I th like I said before, it's a real strategic decision made by the part to not open it this year at all and schedule it for next year. So, and like they said in the statement, it'll be worth the wait. It absolutely will be worth the wait. Now, we've covered this project right from the very start of the channel. Right from the very start. Um, when I was doing those old intros, where I think there weren't even like moving intros. I think there was an intro at all for the first video we did on this project. It was like a fade in. <laughs> it was we've gone back that far. Um, so it's very, it's a very interesting situation, but one that we could completely understand with the current climate and the current situation. So um, we'll just have to look forward to, for it next year. And like we said, it's definitely worth the wait. We've covered this project for a while now. And we've covered this project from the first rumours, the teasers, the ground up construction, the announcements, um, and different things like that. So we've covered all the rumours, all the speculation, all the different things about this project. So um, in 2021, when this project opens to the public, or when we have that VIP day, we will have that closure on this project. We will bring loads of videos to the channel uh, when this thing opens. We'll bring loads of stuff, on-ride POVs, hopefully, the vlog, interviews hopefully with people, see how they're enjoying it, maybe get Theme Park Worldwide on here. <laughs> um, but in all seriousness guys, yes, Portland's Park made a real strategic and a very right decision not to open it this year. I think that 2020 is one of the darkest years in human history. I'm not, I'm not even talking about the theme park industry, it's one of the darkest years in the industry, yeah. But it's one of the darkest years in human history and it's not the way we thought we'd be starting off the decade. Um, so, I think 2021, 2022, onwards and upwards from there, that is all about making those years the most enjoyable, the most passionate, the most amazing years in human history to make up for the dark times we had this year. So, in the next couple of years, 
We need to be as positive, as kind, as caring, as supportive, as community-like as possible. Even if one person's in one area and one person's two hours away, let's be a community. Let's be a worldwide community. Let's stop um, being mean to each other. Let's stop being, um, you know, just downright rude. Let's be a community. Let's be caring. Let's be kind. Be kind. You know, be kind. Because in times like these, it doesn't matter whether you're locked down or you're or you're somewhere else away from your friends and your family you know being kind and staying in contact with each other via social media in the most positive way possible it makes us human and it makes us kind and it makes us caring it makes us a worldwide community so my message on the back of this announcement and I know that there'll be other announcements from Flamingoland I'm sure they will delay their town looping coaster until next year as well Alton Towers I'm sure they're going to do another mini launch for their new area um, I'm sure they're going to completely launch that to the public and the media next year as well I think they'll keep that closed until next year um, Thought Park with the Black Mirror Labyrinth again that'll be reintroduced next year and obviously Chessington with the Rainforest area. And of course the Drop Tower coming in to replace Ramesses Revenge. Maybe that will get delayed till 2022. I'm not too sure. But if it does then we'll be alright with it. We're fair enough. We'll wait another year for it. Um, unless they can continue with construction work behind closed doors. Then fair enough. If they can't then they'll delay it another year. If they can we get another new attraction at Chessington for 2021. So... That would be good. But the main thing about next year and the next theme park seasons for the next few years at least and going onwards and upwards from there is sticking together. Sticking together. Don't, you know, don't go out unless it's absolutely necessary because you'd be risking lives if you were going out ignoring the rules and just doing whatever you wanted. That is just being ignorant and selfish and not caring. Let's be a community. Let's be a caring. And I'm not talking about like theme park communities and anything like that. That's ridiculous at this point. I mean a worldwide community in general. No matter what your age, your gender, your race, male or female, size, shape, height, anything. Be a community. Be kind. Thank you very much for watching this theme park newsroom update talking about this official statement. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe. Let's get this message out. Let's get this video out. Uh, and for now, guys, thank you very, very much. My name is Coaster Chell. Keep living the Coaster life. And I'll see you guys in the next news update very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have an awesome day. Stay safe.